Good day, good day, royal fans. Today's news. After breaking, two film celebs go dating and BBC Three celebrity hot property, columnist Ryan Mark is back with his no-nonsense views. Following Harry's latest telly wineathon, it's high time these brats never get a second chance, he shares. Harry and Meghan even type in those two names make my fingers weep. The best comparison I can make to this loathsome couple is to a wasp, pointless, irritating and packing a nasty sting. We certainly saw Meghan's sting during her speech at the Invictus game when she jibed about service. Speaking of the couple's commitment to the cause that supports injured veterans, taking a dig at the Queen after Harry and Meghan announced their royal duties. We've even seen the tail end of Harry's venom during his recent NBC interview with Hoda Cope, in which he refuses to speak about his father and brother. I have written many columns about this pair. The first reacting to their decision to leave the UK in pursuit of privacy, yet somehow they found themselves at the centre of everything. Whether that's a world-exclusive interview with Oprah Winfrey, a $100 million Netflix deal, Spotify podcast, Apple TV Plus content, Jane Corden's Late Late Show, talking to the stage at the Invictus Games, and now a world-exclusive chat with NBC, claiming everything they've done is tantamount to service. No, Megan, all we see is self-service and bullshit. Everyone who can't see by now that this innocent PR machine that's been orchestrated by the Sussexes isn't for one thing and one thing only, fame and money, is an idiot. Megan has been desperate for this level of attention and finally it's all about to come to fruition but at the expense of a monarch who's celebrating 70 years of true service, something Harry and Meghan should become more familiar with. Instead, these brats are happy to overshadow the Queen's Platinum Jubilee with the filming of their new multi-million Netflix show and Harry's looming autobiography that needs to sell copies. Rather than committing to real service like the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge who filled in for the Queen during her absence over Easter in Windsor, the pair have been spotted sworn in around in Holland posing for film crews. My fear is that the Queen is far too forgiving when really they deserve the boot more than an olive branch. Despite the controversy, the widespread backlash, Her Majesty tends to put family above all else, sometimes in spite of the consequences. When really Meghan and Harry deserve to be banned from ever appearing publicly with the royal family ever again. If anything, they should be offered to walk the plank instead of prancing about a palace balcony with the world's eyes observing their every move, everything Harry and Meghan could possibly want. Forgetting about the rest of the royal family for a second, consider the public's reaction to Harry and Meghan standing next to the same family Meghan accused of making her cry, refusing to help when suicidal and casting racist insinuation. There could be boos, and rightly so, and I would join in. Thank you guys for watching today's installment. I hope you enjoyed the content. Very interesting stuff. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more. Goodbye for now.